about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Boise State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and they can forget about returning this one. The Sun Devils have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Quick pass. That's a great tackle at the 40. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Hands it to the back. Tackle at the 48-yard line. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From the 48-yard line, second down. that takes the field on fourth down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Makes his way out to about the 35. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Now, I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. From the 34-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down at the 16. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. level 
level at the 16-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Throws ball and back and got his man. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. to about the eight-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. And they're stopped short, and they'll turn it over. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Now they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. You've got to give them credit for making a great play. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He sails it long. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 48-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. to his tight end. Nothing doing. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he adds the extra point. A nice five-play, 52-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. You know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it second and two. He goes downtown. Almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He 
gets to about the 41 yard line. Fires to his receiver, first down. And they finally knock him out at the 23-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Broncos. to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. That makes it Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 19. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Kill, kill, kill! Ball is loose, fumble. The defense falls on it. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the call on the field will be reversed. They're at the seven. It's second down. Mike 13, Mike 13. He's in trouble, scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Let's it go. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sun Devils had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State is up by four. Out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. And it's caught. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. it out there incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41. Fires quick. He catches another. And they push him out around the 47-yard line. Field. 
They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. We've got a second and 11. Ball in the 49. The Broncos had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Just throws this one away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Boise State is up four. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 14-yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker throws to the receiver incomplete there's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires they're crowding that line of scrimmage Makes it out to about the five-yard line. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Arizona State will take their first time out of the half. From their own 10-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. to his receiver. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 48. Gets rid of this one. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. 
Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled in the open field. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State holds a four-point lead. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 49. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. The Broncos lead 7-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. But could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? Uh, it goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But. You know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. Number 11 sets a return. He's taken down at the 29. Pick up return 22 yards. So they're just about set to get the game going again. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Mike two. Mike two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gets out to about the 31. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Boise State is up by four. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. yard line so it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Fires out to 
fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Boise State is up four. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. And he hits him hard at the seven-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. in this territory, but they look totally in control there. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's got it with room to run. And he is drilled the 37-yard line. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Go. Throws this one out to the left. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 23. Might have been some early movement up front. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. Second and five now after the penalty. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Arizona State. I guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 81-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Arizona State ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. And 
here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. So try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Boise State holds a four-point lead. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. tailback he's taken down at about the 39 yard line that makes it second it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks he's at the 30 there's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They bring him down in the backfield. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Boise State is up by four. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll we'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Broncos lead 14-10. To the action here. Tight okay. ball game in the fourth quarter. Here comes the pressure. He gets sacked on the play. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Brad, we're starting to get late into this football game, now into the fourth quarter, and this offense could behoove themselves to put points up on the board, preferably a touchdown. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Down, around the 49-yard line. 
Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Up, up the middle and stuffed. From the 38 yard line, second down. He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 22. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. receiver I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers but he's got to know when not to throw the ball he didn't have any room at all and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted just under three to go in regulation and he tackles him hard at the 30 yard line Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kicks up, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17-13, Boise State. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Big opening. Brought down around the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 42. That's a great tackle at the 44. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Arizona State's going to take their first time out of the hat. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Just over two minutes in the game. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 30. The Sun Devils are going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Looks middle, got his back. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Boise State is up four. to an end our final count in this game 17-13 Broncos that brings this broadcast to a close for EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street I'm Brad Nessler we'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14